Get those nostalgia tissues ready, cause we're OTPing it up 2010 style. That's right, this week Zac Efron and Vanessa Hudgens take on Demi Lovato and Joe Jonas, but who will reign victorious in this flashback edition of My Hollywire OTP. Hey guys, I'm your host Chelsea Briggs, coming to you from Hollywood, and you're watching the Hollywire Hot Minute. Ah, to be young again. Now it was in 2010 when both these couples split, which may have been a long time ago, but you guys, the hurt is like still kind of there. So let's go ahead and alleviate some of that pain by stepping into the time machine of our imaginations and take a look back on all they had. And we're gonna party like it's 2010, yeah. So Vanessa and Zach, aka Zanessa, had a good thing going on for three years and just as many high school musical movies. I mean, through their relationship, we saw the two loving in the park and on the red carpet, singing and dancing and going through a lot of different haircut phases. So many feels, you guys. But of course, they eventually called it quits in December of 2010. The good news, though, they're doing fine on great terms and and are even talking about a high school musical reunion. I mean, oh my, Lanta. But a romantic rekindling? Mm, not sure that's on the horizon, so good thing we made this montage to see you through the pain. You're dating the same <laughs> woman for years, and you're a hot property. We've got a great thing going. It's serving me right now, and we're having, we're having a lot of fun. just the beginning. Let's talk Joe and Demi, aka Jemmy, the Camp Rock dream team. The two met on set but didn't really get to the romancing portion until Camp Rock 2 and uh, guys, it was pretty obvious these two were feeling that sparkle. It was Demi's first big relationship so that was a huge deal but it was sadly only meant to last for a few months when the two decided to just stay friends in 2010. Now, of course, they both seem pretty happy with their current loves, and clearly Demi is still totally down with the Jonas clan. I mean, she just had Nick as creative director for her Neon Lights tour. I mean, I'm still holding out hope for the Camp Rock 3, the final, final jam. But until that happens, take a look at Jemmy's best moments. We've been best friends for the longest time, and now we're just kind of taking the next step, and it's been really fun. You're the missing piece, I need the song inside of me, I need to find you. I think um, being best friends for a while, um, over time, feelings grow, and I think for me, as much as I wanted to deny it. <laughs> Oh my word, that was a tough one to get through, emotionally. Okay, so I want to know, who gave you the most feels, Jemmy or Zanessa? Who will always be your OTP? <sighs> Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below right now. This is serious talk, you guys. And of course, tweet hashtag MyHollywareOTP with your vote. Don't forget to do that. And also subscribe to Hollywood TV and um, give me a thumbs up because I think I deserve it. It's my birthday week. Will you please do it? Thumbs up, like and favorite this video. Word for Hollywood.com. I'm Chelsea Briggs and I'll catch you on the flip side. Vanessa means Vanessa plus Zach. Give me a heart attack. <gasps> That's a Demi Lovato song. And then we go to Demi, which is Demi and Joe. Oh no. Oh yeah. And then ba ba da. We gotta blah blah. Bump thump a bump a bump bump ba dum bump. My name's Chelsea Briggs, and that was my audition tape for High School Musical 4. I don't know what I'm saying anymore, cause sometimes things just come out of my mouth. <laughs>